Welcome to the Creative Arena. Today's tutorial will be showing you how to customize your WordPress login page, this page, to look something as beautiful as this. Before now, I believe some of you might be wondering, how can I change this login page? It doesn't look good. I've, I've been able to design a beautiful website and then for my client and then I give my client a login page as this to, to assess uh, his or her dashboard. This doesn't look professional. Well, worry not. You don't need to worry any further. Just with this video, you'll be able to achieve something as beautiful as this or even more beautiful than this, depending on how creative, how you how how thoughtful you can go, how how you can combine things. And the good thing about this particular tutorial is that we'll be using the free version of the plugin to achieve something like this and even do more. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive in and get started. Okay, this is our dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the plugin section and then we're going to add a new plugin. We're going to add a new plugin that will help us achieve it. All right, the plugin we're going to download, we're going to add is a uh, ultimate dashboard. That's the name of the plugin, and you can find the free version on uh, the WordPress repository. Yeah, we'll be using the free version. The plugin also has its um, uh, pro version, but the pre uh, free version will, will give us exactly what we want. So once we're done installing, installing the plugin, what we're going to do next is we're going to activate the plugin. And after that, we'll go straight and edit our login page, our default login, WordPress login page, and make it look beautiful. As this can help our clients, you know, love their WordPress account. In fact, some clients might not even know that this. Your website, though the website you've built for them is, uh, is is built from WordPress because they won't see the conventional WordPress uh, login dashboard. I'm sorry, login uh, page. They will see something very beautiful and unique or peculiar to their designs. So that can give them some some level of you know happiness and joy towards your work. So go straight to to uh, the ultimate dashboard. This is the, the plugin. And then we'll come down to login customizers. Customizer, we'll click on this. It now takes us to a page where we can see how our uh, designs take effect on li life. We we'll see life uh, changing effects, how our website change effect life. So now, like I told you, the, the plugin also has a pro version. So you can see. It comes with three layouts, but we can't choose in either of these layouts because it's available in the pro version. But we can still work with the free version layout, which is just this default layout. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our logo. This logo, this WordPress default logo, we're going to upload our logo. This is our logo. We're going to upload it. You can see our logo doesn't look nice on the website. Uh, so that we can fix that by reducing our logo height. Yeah, this this looks okay. Our logo doesn't look appear properly on the website because of the white background. But don't worry. Once we're done designing this page, you will, our logo will appear just fine. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to the background section. So now you have the opportunity to change either the background color to whatever color you wish. Just like this, you can change it to whatever color you wish, or you can upload an image. But we'll be making use of an image. We'll upload a background image. So this is the image we'll be using. Yeah, this looks beautiful. So now you can still edit, add some features to the image, which is a background repeat. You set it to no repeat, background position, center, center, and then uh, background cover. You now set it to cover background size, so set it to cover. Then you can also add background overlay. What this does is you can see it allows you to let's say select this and then you reduce opacity. You see, this is what the background overlay does. This looks nice. Uh, we, can, we can work with this. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we'll go to the login form. Yep. 
Now, these login forms, they are made layouts, but like I told you, you can only access that through the, the Pro version. So, we'll just work with this, what we we'll have here. Now, this is the form, this white area, this, this area, this is what we are editing. Now, you can also add, select an image for this background here, or you can just change the background color. As you can see, you can change the background color there to whatever color you choose. You can see, so well, we will we'll change our color to black. Yeah, this look nice. We change our color to black, and then the width you can also edit the width. There is this width, you can see, you can see, you can see this, you can set it to whatever you want. But we're going to leave ours at 350, which is okay. You can set the padding, padding to the top padding to the bottom that is space and then the space bottom you can also do that but we'll leave it the way it is we can also do the side padding which is here you can see we're going to leave it to the default version because the default version is okay and then this border this is the border this is the border you can add increase the border do set it to whatever you want we're going to leave it the way it is we're going to change our border color to to red and i think let's increase our border to let's say four or four okay now we can also edit the border radius this is the radius, as you can see. You can edit this. Yeah, I'm gonna leave our radius like this. Uh, this like so. This looks good. We can even add a border, uh, a box shadow to this. You can see that's a box shadow. You can add it. You can add that and then increase, increase the width. You can see. And then you can change the box shadow color to whatever color you wish. You can see. You can see. So I think we're gonna leave it at black. We're gonna leave it at black. Alright. So we're done with this. Now the next part we're going to go to is going to go to the input field. The input field. Yeah, this is the field. This is the part we're talking about. So you can also change the height, you can reduce the input height to 40, you can reduce the side padding, the border width, and so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, that will come down to the font size, there is a text in the input, you can increase the font size. You can even change the border radius, I think we're going to change our border radius. Let's see, yeah, this looks good. Let's leave it at 30. This looks good. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to change uh, the, the background focus color. What that does, this is it. This is the effect it does. When the particular field you, are, you, you want to input something on, <clears throat> that's a focus. So we change that, that to red. And then uh, we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna change the text color. We're gonna change the text color to focus color to white. We're gonna change the text focus color to white. That is when you're writing shoes. This looks good. And then we're gonna change uh, the focus border. We're gonna change the focus border. We're gonna change it to. Uh, to white let's change it to white okay this is it yep or we can just let's just just um leave it at let's set it to black and see how yeah it's okay this way this looks much better all right uh i think we're we're done with the input field 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the labels, this text, the username or uh, email. This is the text. We're going to set out ours to white. Or oh, let's set it a bit off white. Yeah, off white. We're going to set ours off white. Um, then once we're done with that, we'll come down to the login button. This button, this is what we're going we're to change this. Okay, we're going to set uh, the button color. We're going to set it to red. <clears throat> then we're going to set the border, uh, the border radius. Yeah, we're going to set it to 30. Yeah, we're going to set the border radius to 30. Then we're going to add the side padding. Yeah, to 25. And yeah, this looks... This looks okay. This looks okay. And then we're gonna edit the the hover the hover effect. Okay. Well, how well, we're gonna change the hover background color. We're gonna change it to. I think let's just leave it at red. Let's leave it the same. So or maybe we can just change it to. Uh, white. Let's change it to white and then the text color on hover we change it to red. So have this this beautiful effect. Have this beautiful effect. So we're done with that. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the footer section. This part and we're going to change this. We can change the link color to let's see if we put it at red. No. We're gonna set it to white and then we're gonna change the hover color to to red. Okay, this plugin also gives us um, the ability to remove these options from our link. We can also remove it by just setting this toggle and then you've removed it. And if there is a language feature, you can also remove it at the bottom. But we would need this. In a situation where you forgot your password, you will definitely need this. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. And then the plugin also gives us a custom CSS. So we can add our custom codes. We won't be doing that. So our website kind of look, our login page kind of looks better this way. So we're going to publish this. We're going to publish this. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go back and then going to check our new login you can see this is what our previous login looks like so now let's let's check what it looks like now yeah this is it this is what we've done you can see this is what we've done Look at how beautiful how professional our login page looks this is it and also let me show you something. This plugin is a very powerful, the free version is a very powerful uh, free version. If you remember in our previous video, we showed you how to change your login URL to whatever uh, you, you choose to, whatever login URL you, you want to, let's like to change the default login URL. But this plugin also comes with that that uh, feature, login redirect, you come down to login redirect, you click on it. Now, here you can just type whatever login you wish for, Whatever login you wish to use, you can say my my login, and then this redirects. That is, whenever someone access, try to access your website using the normal URL, it's going to redirect them to um, it's going to redirect them to a 404 page. The plugin also gives you the ability to set rules, login rules. That is. If, if an editor logs in, you can set in set a page wherever the person sh should be logged into, as in the, the first page the person should see whenever it logs in. This plugin also gives you that effect, but we won't be doing that because well, more, that's not our focus for today, but I'm just telling you some other features that the plugin does. And then the, the pro version of this plugin comes with amazing features. You can change your, your WordPress to something entirely unique and different. So once we save this now, save this. Now this is our new login URL. We can go back and then we can try it out. Let's see. Let's see, it's going to give this URL is going to give us a 404 page. Now 
well, we'll say my login yep it works perfectly so that will be all okay if you've watched this tutorial to the end we appreciate you if this is the first time if this, if this is your first time on our channel we appreciate you please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also drop your comment wherever you you're confused we're here to assist you and also you can also like hit the like button thank you and see you next time bye